Hi, this is Andrew Versa, and today I'd like to do a quick demonstration of Ventus Ethnic Winds Ocarinas, the latest instrument from Impact Soundworks. The Ocarina has a special place in my heart, as I'm sure it does for many of you, uh, not just because of its association with the Legend of Zelda game, Ocarina of Time, but also because it has just this very pure and beautiful sound. We actually captured three different ones for this library, and I'm going to show all three of them. And rather than go through the interface for these Ventus libraries, since at this point you've probably seen it four times already, you can refer back to previous videos, I want to focus on just the sound of each. And for a change of pace, I want to show the Triple Ocarina in the context of a Legend of Zelda arrangement. So let's check it out. You can see the MIDI data here. There's a few key switches being used to change articulation. And then we have an automation lane for vibrato amount, and then one for dynamics. So this is pretty standard for a solo instrument. Okay, so it's just a clip of an arrangement. You can actually hear the full uh, final arrangement on my wife's YouTube channel, Jelena Versa. But I thought this was a nice way to show this instrument in context. So what's being used here? Well, first we have the basic sustain articulation. I'll do this without vibrato first, but play it with legato. Now, naturally, to fit the orchestral arrangement, this is in a hall setting, but the samples are actually recorded dry with close and room mics. Here's what it sounds like with no reverb, just the close mic. And then if we enable the room mic, we get a little bit of extra spaciousness. But again, for this setting, I'm going to keep the room mic off since I am using a hall reverb. There's a very lovely vibrato being used, and as with the other Ventus instruments, you can use either the natural vibrato or contacts vibrato where you get to change the uh, speed and depth. The vibrato can be assigned to a MIDI CC, which I have here, or you can set it to aftertouch on your keyboard if it supports that. Then there's the uh, flutter articulation, which we have on all of our Ventus instruments. This instrument does go quite high, so let's see, the highest note is. So let's check out some of the articulations that are included. You can trigger these with the ornaments knob here. So if we turn this up and enable all five, then as I play, I'll get some of these at random. You can change the weighting uh, on this right column. And you can see what you're getting at the top. But for now, because I want to go through one by one, I'll turn this down and head over to the Articulations tab. So you've heard the normal articulation, and then we have Sustained Tongued, which is a subtle difference, but just gives it a bit more attack. And then a nice flutter attack. The trill attack is really nice. In my example of the Zelda track, I actually used this articulation mixed with manual trills, so just putting like a single note for a very brief time. And I think that gives you the best results. Now, if you don't want these articulations to play legato, uh, trigger the legato articulation, then you can actually turn that off here, the legato button. Then we have the bends. So 
that's the fast bend and then the slow bend. Very emotional. And then trills. We have different intervals there for the trills, which are selectable via velocity. And lastly, for the main articulations, we have staccato. Now with legato, uh, there are a lot of ways to change the sound. This is my preferred legato sound here, and that's the, the default for all these instruments. But you can go in and you can uh, accent it more by increasing the volume of the legato articulation. Or decrease it. Or somewhere in the middle. And then you can change things like the length and crossfade time. But typically it makes the most sense to leave it on the default settings as at least I think they sound pretty good. Moving on, we have the Costa Rican Ocarina, which is lower and it has a sort of a deeper timbre to it, a little more breathy, but a smaller range. That's the high note there. And the low note is just one octave below. Well, technically nine semitones. It also has more of a sort of a portamento feel to the legato. And much of the same articulations are here too. So again, we have tongued. Then there's the accented sustain, which adds sort of an extra breathy harmonic to the sound. Flutter attack. And then the bends again. And trills. Plus staccato. Without reverb. Lastly, we have the lovely Zune, which has a greater range, but also a pretty low timbre. Diving into the articulations here, once again, we have tongued. And then the accented sustain, which is really accented. And you'll notice with the legato, it all goes back to the normal sustain articulation for the best blending with the legato transitions. Flutter attack. And staccatos. And 
and the accented staccatos, which again are really accented. By changing the offset for these articulations, you can remove some of that pre-breath sound, depending on what kind of thing you're going for. Changing the offset is the best way to sort of increase the playability of the instrument at the cost of, at times, a little bit of realism. Now again, as with the other instruments in the Venta series, we also have quite a few phrases for each instrument categorized into things like arps, shorts, mediums, and longs. And these are available both in normal and Time Machine Pro, that's uh, speed adjustable versions, and as waves. You can just take them and mangle them to your heart's content in your DAW, or just drop them in and line them up visually. Lots of very interesting and inspiring stuff here. And we have the uh, Costa Rican. And this is with the Time Machine Pro version. And here you can also change both the start and the end points of each phrase. So these... So that should give you a good idea of everything that you get with Ventus Ethnic Winds Ogarinas. This library is available now at a base price of $99, but if you own any of the other Ventus instruments, your price could be as low as $49. If you don't have anything in the Ethnic Winds series, we now have a bundle where you can get all five instruments. So the ocarinas, pan flutes, tin whistle, bansuri, and shakuhachi. All are available for contact, the full version, not contact player. And they all have the same interface, so you only need to learn it once. And it's the same playability and the same style for each one. I hope this instrument and all the instruments in the Ventus series gives you a lot of inspiration. And I hope you'll enjoy. This has been Andrew Versa, and I'll see you next time.